Calvin, how did you kind of characterize the round today? Uh, I mean, really steady, really solid. Um, you know, it was a bad two shots on, on my second and third shot on the second hole. But overall, I mean, I, I hit, hit it where I needed to, made, take it, took advantage um, of the ones I did hit close and made a few putts and, uh, you know, came out bogey-free, which I'm really, really happy. What was maybe the, kind of maybe the difference between yesterday's round to today's round? Yesterday, I mean, obviously it was blowing more, but I, I just got impatient. I was rushing a lot of shots towards the end and just, you know, I was trying to time it up in such a small little window that instead of feeling the shot, you know, I just used my head and, and that's not, that's never good for me. You know, I, I have to feel it out and uh, kind of trust my gut and, you know, really, really made sure I stayed patient with that today. Is that something you recognize after the round? I mean, you sit down and talk to your caddy and say, you know, what happened or? I mean, no, I, I knew it. I knew it once I got through 17 yesterday. I mean, it, it was a bad bunker shot, and that was just trying to get too pretty with it. And um, but I mean, after I walked off 18, and you know, thankfully I made par yesterday on 18. Um, I just knew, like, I just had to stay patient and just trust myself. I mean, Rick's Rick's been out here all week, so just we talked this morning, and it was a 30 second talk because the, the swing still feels good. I just never gotten a rhythm of, of feeling out the golf shot. You know, you can get so caught up and numbers and, and, you know, this makes sense, this doesn't make sense. But if you can't feel the shot, it doesn't matter. You know, you're never going to execute that great shot, you know, a handful of times. Do you feel, maybe after yesterday you didn't, but now you must feel like at least you're in touch now. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, Scotty's not, I, I don't expect Scotty to fall back. I mean, the wind's definitely in a different kind of direction the last few holes than what we expected and what we thought. So that makes kind of 17, 18 a little bit tougher. Um, but look, I mean, I'm still going to have to go out and shoot a really good, really good score tomorrow. But, you know, this this course bites. You know, you might look at some of these holes as birdie opportunities, but you miss the fairway. You're going to try and save par. Um, and I think the wind might be up a little bit more tomorrow with the same wind we got yesterday. So it's going to play tough. You've talked a lot about, like you said, Rick's been here this week. You guys have you've talked about him more sometimes just an ear that he kind of has for, for you. Is that kind of been more what it's been this week or the maybe technical stuff that you're working on? Yeah, it's, it's not a lot of technical stuff. A lot of it has just been talking through it, going through the process, thinking th through things. Um, and obviously it's been, it's been very, very helpful kind of over this past couple months. What have you liked most about what you've done this week? Um, to be honest, I've, I've just kind of continued what I've, what I've been doing. Um, I think I've played a little messier this week than I have. Um, say at Colonial and at the PGA, um, I've made I've made too many mistakes, but I've also been able to rebound from that and not get away from myself. Um, if I had six more holes yesterday after 17, it could have been bad. Thankfully, I only had one, and I got out of there, um, and I was able to regroup. and And you just that's golf, right? You, you have to be able to regroup. I just thought yesterday I just got in this little rut on the back nine where, you know, I felt like I hit a good shot wasn't doing this, wasn't doing that, but it's because I, I wasn't feeling out the shots. I was just playing numbers in my head, trying to do this math equation instead of actually being, you know, an artist and, and playing shots. Anything else? Great. Thanks so much, Colin. All right. Oh. Actually, Colin, I, I did have a question, Colin. Uh, obviously, you made a push today. Um, you were in this position last year, and then what was it? Your your back mm -hmm. gave out on you. What do you think you need to do between today and tomorrow to, to really put yourself in position as far as tomorrow is concerned? I mean, I've got to go out and put out a round like I did today. Um, like I said, Scotty, Scotty's not really coming backwards. And, you know, I've got to play some steady golf. That doesn't mean I've got to press. I mean, look, if I shoot four tomorrow, I think I'm going to be pretty happy. Um, but, you know, you just kind of play it through the year and, and start off on hole one, have a, have a game plan, and see how many shots you can execute um, on a Sunday when, you know, you're roughly within a handful of shots. Well, what was it last year, like, I mean, with the back, why do you think you had some of the issues that you had between your third and, and oh, it, going I mean, into it was, the Oh, it was warming round. up in the gym. It was this one movement we did, something that I've kind of, we've all taken care of, so I know what to do, what not to do, what to watch, and go on from there. Cool. Perfect. All right. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks, Colin. Thank you. Thanks, Colin. Seth?